Hey, what's shaking everybody? So I got another giant box and I got another 3D printer. This is the CR10 Mini, as you can probably read right there. The CR10 Mini is basically just a mini CR10. The CR10 is made by Creality. It's probably the best selling 3D printer right now. It retails for a little under $500. Um, I I'll put a link in the description, you can get it much cheaper than that. Like, I don't know, it's like 370 or 360 or something. But yeah, this is a little cheaper than that. This is like 320 and it's just a little bit smaller. Instead of being 300 by 300 by 400, it's 300 by 220 by 300. Um, so it won't take as much of a space on the table and uh, it's supposed to be a little more high precision. It's supposed to have some slight differences. So I guess, uh, yeah, let's just adjust the camera. We can open this thing up, see how it goes together and then let's start printing with this thing. So let's do it. All right guys, so let's start by uh, cutting off all this stuff. Uh, it came in a separate box, it had like a shipping box, but I got more than one package at my house and I didn't know what was what, so I had to uh, take them all out of the shipping boxes so I could read what they, what they were in order to film the videos properly. So, yeah, so it came in shipped in two boxes, so there was a little like damage to this box, but I wasn't really concerned because the other box looked fine. So, let's open this up. This was sent to me courtesy of GearBest.com. So, So thanks to them for hooking it up once again. They've hooked it up with a lot of a lot of cool stuff for my channel. And uh, yeah. So thanks. Okay, so once we open this up, you're greeted with a, uh, you know, your standard just get rid of it. Turn that right there. Yeah, just your standard, you know, foam you see in every 3D printer. Uh, here is the bed itself, so very rectangular, not really so much uh, giant, you know, like the, the regular CR10 is more square, this is much more rectangular. Like a half a kilogram of filament. Looks packaged very nice. Here's the whole bed assembly. Looks uh, very similar. So the CR10 uses eccentric nuts and everything, just like the CR10. As you can see, where are they? On this side right here, I don't know how well you'll see that. Yeah, but it uses eccentric nuts to tighten down the bed so you can make sure there's no wobble or anything. Uh, very stable. Just the design is, you know, very, it's a very stable printer. Uh, here's our box. We'll have all our tools in it and everything. So, in this guy. Okay, so what do we got here first? We got some paper. So this is gonna be our directions. That, this thing is so simple, I'm not even gonna need to use these, but it does have, you know, very simple directions. Uh, it's actually got like a warranty card. So, pretty cool. And a parts list, so make sure you have everything. So In the box here, we got a roll of masking tape which I'm not going to use, but a lot of people like to use it. Now this is the brackets and the limit switch. Record the power in. Zip ties, cable cutters, all the little tools you're going to need. Hook it up to your PC. Spool holder, crimp removal tool, spare Bowden tube, SD card reader with SD card in it with provided files and everything. All the software. Uh, one thing fell out of here. This was supposed to be on the end of here. This is to clean your nozzle. So a little nozzle cleaning needle. Works really good. The regular CR10 comes with that as well. So pretty much everything that comes with the regular CR10 and all your hardware. Okay, so let's go back to the box here. Power supply looks identical to the regular CR10. Now, now I have checked out some other people's videos on these and uh, it does have the MOSFET and everything in, inside just like the regular CR10. So very good quality. Uh, clips. Clips are all labeled, you know, they're all labeled nice, very easy to connect. I should be able to put this together in no time flat. 
package is very, very good in here. I had to take like some parts off just to get this out. So the way they ship this is you don't really have to worry about anything getting damaged. It all looks real nice. Alright. Okay. And that's everything. So here it is. The gantry. The hot end assembly. Everything's already on it. Um, I'm already seeing some things that are a little better quality than the regular Sierra Time. Like the fan here. This is injection molded. It's not a printed part. Um, basically every part on here that's plastic is injection molded. There's no more printed parts on here. Even the this part of the spool holder, everything. Yeah, so this is looks actually looks really, really good quality. So um, let me make a little room on the table. And um, this time lapse of me putting this thing together, it shouldn't take long at all. guys so it's all put together went together super easy basically just like the other CR10s um, this one though it feels a little more solid like nothing looks like I'm gonna have to go back and tighten I'm gonna do a double check go through everything make sure everything's nice and tight but so far everything feels really stable and I'm uh, ready to go so I'm gonna go off camera and just make sure everything's tight double check everything and then we're gonna fire off some test prints that are on the provided SD card and then I'll do a benchy and then some other random things and we'll, we'll just see how it prints. And then I'll be back with my final analysis. So yeah, let's uh, enjoy the prints.
All right, guys, so it's been a couple days since it's the first part of this video where I unboxed it, put it together and everything. Uh, so you guys saw me run all these test prints. I'll show you some up close in a minute on how they turned out, which I think this is, they, they, I think they just turned out beautifully. Now, the control box and everything is just like your standard CR-10 runs Marlin 1. Point, I think 1.4 firmware or whatever, or 1.1.4 Marlin firmware. You know, everything's, it's like identical box to the regular CR-10, so it's got your MOSFET in there. Heats up the bed nice. Um, bed heats up much faster than the regular CR-10. I was able to, you know, it, from clicking it to print in under five minutes, you know, where the CR-10 takes closer to 10 minutes. This printer, though, I must say, you know, it's $329 with the link in the description where you can get the CR-10 for, like, only $30 more. The CR-10, you're getting a much bigger printer. So if somebody, if you're somebody that the build volume is your number one priority, like, you want to print big stuff, like, I don't know, cosplay helmets, garbage cans, stuff like that, you know, then that one is going to be the better value because it's only $30 more. But if you're somebody that you just can't, you just want detail, and honestly... Like myself, I, it's very rare I ever print anything bigger. This is still a 300 millimeter build volume, so it's, it's still pretty, plenty big. Um, but more times on a not, I'm going to be printing small stuff. And I must say, out of all my printers, this one definitely is... I've had the best quality right out of the box. Basically, all I did to slice um, the, the models that I sliced here was I went to Cura, and I used this and Cura 3, now there's a CR10 profile. So I took that profile... I changed the build volume to this model of the CR-10. That was it. And I got some of the best prints I've ever printed on anything. My my friend, Zach, he's like really big into Dungeons and & Dragons, and he's been asking me to print all these little miniatures. And uh, this one in particular has been a nightmare to print on every printer because how small this bow is. It's an, a little elf ranger. I'll show you up close. This was the only printer I printed that was able to print this bow like this good or this is close to perfect i think as you could get with this um yeah i'll show you this dragon up close too uh, i'll put the guy's name on the screen that designed this uh, make sure to go check out his youtube channel too he's got a youtube channel does all sorts of cool 3d printed stuff i'll put a little box right there you can click on it but yeah um can't remember the guy's name off the top of my head but thank you you're awesome this i love this dragon model if you're into game of thrones or something this it looks just like the dragons from game of thrones it's freaking cool but yeah i feel like this printer is the most precise out of the box out of any printer I've ever had. Um, if you just want a printer to print really good quality and your main priority isn't how big it is, this this is probably the printer you should get. Um, yeah, like I said, for thirty dollars more, you can get a much bigger printer with the CR10. But the CR10, it's it's harder to get like these perfect of results. CR10 prints great, don't get me wrong, but really fine details like this because it's such a big printer, it, it's harder to tune it. And then this one, too, I adjusted the bed level once. I haven't adjusted it yet at all. So, um, yeah, let me show you guys uh, these up close so you can kind of get an idea of how they turned out. Let's start off with what was provided on the card. So on the card, there's the cat that comes in all the CR-10s, and this one, it turned out beautifully. And I was using really cheap orange PLA for this. So this is really cheap filament that I used, and it turned out basically perfect I'm very very impressed with this and here is a strain relief I printed well this was also on the g-code I haven't put it on yet because I wanted to show it to you guys um, it's got little things to put the zip ties in and then there's another part that goes on top but I, I don't think I brought it out here I think it's inside but yeah I printed this beautifully now here are some things that I printed now the first thing I printed was this benchy now the benchy uh, it turned out great. The walls, though, you can see through the walls a little. That's because I had the infill before walls uh, box checked. So that was a setting error. But the Benchy itself um, is really, really good. Turned out great. So whoop, so for the first print, I was very impressed with that. Now here is the Dragon. Now this Dragon, I absolutely love this model. There is just tons of detail in here. and Like in the face. And everywhere and once again and I printed this at 60 millimeters a second no infill and it, yeah it turned out basically perfect the feet everything on it is just phenomenal I really really like this model and I, I love how that one turned out and then last here is this little elf ranger now this thing is only 28 millimeters high so it's really small to print and I printed it at fast I printed it at 50 millimeters a second just to see what happened the only thing was right here there's a little uh, string and I didn't I mean I could just take that off with a knife I didn't take it off just to leave it for the video so you could see it but that was the only thing this bow 
on every other time I've printed this on any other printer, there's always been, like I've had to clean it up like crazy. There's been little things hanging off it left and right. And just look at how smooth the cape is. It's like literally perfect. So I was very, very impressed with uh, the way it was able to get fine detail on such small objects. So if you're somebody that printing miniatures and stuff like that is one of your main priorities with your printer, maybe, you know, you're, maybe you're in, like my buddy and you're into that, those Dungeons and Dragons games or, you know, like those Warhammer type games or whatever, this would be an amazing printer to get for that. I mean, like I said, I'm using cheap PLA, stock settings, and I haven't had a single problem whatsoever. Um, there's no mechanical issues I've had. Everything is extremely smooth. The glass bed is perfectly flat. I'm using just glue stick to hold it down. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't really say anything bad about this machine. So it's a little smaller, so if you want a bigger machine, I'll put a link in the description for the CR10. And there you're getting a much, much bigger machine. But if quality is your main priority, I say that this this thing is a boss. This is an absolute bossa nova. So, um, yeah, so I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you, hopefully that helped. So remember with the link in the code in the description, you get a big discount. And also, too, then GearBest knows that I sent it to you, and that, or I sent you there. And then they'll continue to send me cool stuff to make videos for you guys. So I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support. Uh, thank you, GearBest, for this sweet printer. And, yeah, I'm going to go back inside and start playing with this some more. And I guess until next time, I'll see you guys later. Woohoo!